Haria being announced in for Hillel. And now you have the uh, big boys for Hillel, Tobias, followed by Bruce Epstein, who will wear number 11. You'll want to watch him throughout this ball game. Okay, Ron, both teams seem very pumped up, seem very, very optimistic about the prospects for this game. Um, and here we are, the, uh, the two refs. Oh, Ronnie, it looks like we have three referees wow. coming out. So the YMSSA pulling out all the stops yeah. for today's finals matchup. Not one, not two, but three zebras coming out on the court, Ron. That's right, Norman. One, one of them wearing a mask. Ronnie, I stand corrected. Two, two of them will be wearing masks. And they might be the only two mask participants in this entire crowd. Okay, well, the commissioner with some poignant words before the game saying, to remember last year we were all at home. There were no games. So both teams fortunate to be here today. And I'm sure the guys, I'm sure the kids all feel nervous today, but I'm not noticing any nerves on the court, everyone seems ready to go. Yeah, they're just gonna go about, play their normal game, and uh, and see where that takes them. That's certainly the game plan, but let's see if they could execute it. Oh, this is interesting, Norm. Max Rishi just changed his jersey. Okay, so we have a, a last second jersey change for Max Richley. Not sure what's going on there. Or perhaps he just put an underlayer. Okay, he put on an underlayer. A small delay to the start of this game. The commissioner seems okay with it. The three zebras seem okay with it. Okay, it's going to be Terran at half court, ready to take the tip. The key players for SAR, Ari Halpert, Jonah Blechner, Evan they Goldberg. A red Hillel shirt. They're ripping it. Ripping the Hillel shirt. There's a lot of action in this gym. Fans in every inch of the gym. On the left, it seems the SAR has gotten their hands on a Hillel shirt that was part of the giveaway. And the Sting fans are, are defacing and destroying that well, shirt. Norman, like their name represents, the SAR Sting will sting and have clearly shown that in the early stages of just the pregame, Norman. Yes. That just uh, will go to show you how sharp the elbows are of the Sting. Two passionate, passionate fan bases. Um, Ron, the community center over in Deal, where Hillel is situated, is called DSN. And the entirety of the staff at that community center has showed up here. Wow. We're over an hour and 10 minutes away from here. SAR coming from the Bronx is 45 minutes away from here. So both squads making long treks to get here. As Hillel wins the tip, Rishti over to Epstein. Back to Rishti in the corner. Epstein again finds Zakaria in the corner. It's a high pop pass. Zakaria from the corner hits his first attempt at a three point shot. And Hillel's fans are jumping up and down already. 3-0 Hillel. Norm, right away, Hillel going to their tried and true game plan of dishing out to Zakaria and Rishti for those open three-pointers. Inside blocked by Tobias. They got it down to Seth Persian. That's what they want to do down low. But it was Abraham Tobias with the blocked shot. Jason Zakaria with the three points so far. And beautiful defense by Abraham Tobias. Jonah Blechner will inbound from under the basket. Tobias, the tallest man on this court, standing at 5'9". Inbounded over to Berger, to Blechner. Oh, beautiful shot by Ari Halpert. He's their best player, and he just hit a three like he was hitting a layup. I mean, that, that looked like it was very, very easy for him. Yeah, and both, it is three all. Both teams ready to perform and come out firing today, Norman. That's evident early on. Oh, Halpert went for the steal, gave Epstein a lane. Epstein inside, he's fouled. You give Bruce Epstein that step, you give him a lane, and he's going to take it. He was hit hard. You see him rubbing his, uh, his right knee. He'll go to the line for two shots, Ron. Epstein, a above average, if not sensational, free throw percent shooter, averaging just above 80%. As he's at the line for two. 
He misses the first shot. He'll get one more foul shot here, Ron. And he misses both. That's uncharacteristic. Abraham Tobias gets the rebound. Pulls it out to Rishni. Rishni to Bruce Epstein. Hillel will get another set. Down low to Terran, and he's fouled. So Abraham Tobias able to grab the rebound and give Hillel an additional possession. Yeah, I mean, that's just what Hillel does best. You know, if you miss a shot, you have Tobias and Terran fighting for that rebound. So a good pass by Epstein to find Terran, and good foul by SAR hiding, hitting Terran hard, yeah. making him earn those points at the line. Okay, Hillel hits the first foul shot. Terran was the leading scorer in the semifinal game, believe it or not. 4-3 Hillel, and Terran hits the second. Beautiful possession if you're Hillel because they scored two points and the Sting racked up two fouls. Okay, Halpert to Goldberg. Goldberg gonna take a three, and that's good. SAR two for two from three-point land. They go up six to five. Epstein calmly dribbles the ball up. Two three zone by SAR. Epstein to Zakaria for three. That was tipped and rebounded by Halpert. Looks like Halpert's bringing it up to Blethner. Halpert turns it over. That's a steal by Epstein. He finds Rishti in the other lane, and Rishti is blocked, and he's totally unfazed by the countless wow. SAR fans that got in his face. Rishti, uh, I applaud him for not answering or even looking at those fans, and now the referee correctly getting them off the court. I mean, you cannot go into a player's face like that. Norman, it's interesting because the SAR motto is imagine a school with no walls or barriers where every student is unique. Welcome to SAR. Well, right there, Jonah Blechner introduced a wall and a barrier to Max Rishke. And the fans felt that there were no walls or barriers either, Ronnie, as they felt that they could walk on the court. Abraham Tobias loses it. That was actually off of Epstein. Tobias recovered, but unable to fully recover and then lost it. Halpert to Goldberg, but Goldberg turns it over. And Hillel will do a touchdown pass the other end. Terran went too far, and he's blocked by wow. Halpert. This guy Halpert is the full is the real deal, Ron. Yeah, Halpert already with two blocks today. And I mean, the defensive intensity that we're seeing in a battle between Tobias, Terran, Halpert, and Blechner is just phenomenal. Zakaria inbounds it. He tried inbounding it underneath the basket. Got blocked by two stings. And Zakaria will inbound again. Let's see Hillel if they have a play on the inbound. Zakaria will now inbound under the other corner of the basket. It looks like Rishti, oh, intercepted by Tobias. Epstein thought about it. Rishti, Zakaria in the corner goes baseline. A floater, no good, too strong. Terran fighting for the rebound, but it's Halpert again. Halpert just all over the place so far today, Norman. Halpert to Blechner, to Goldberg, and intercepted by Tobias. Both teams with excellent defense early on, touching every pass. Rishti for three, that's an air ball, and it'll go out of bounds. Yeah, Rishti unable to set his feet on that play. Probably rushed the shot a little bit there, as there was a rushing Halpert, but I'd like to see Rishti set his feet, then if the shot is there, take it, Norman. Okay, Halpert will bring it up. We're going to the corner. Oh! And that was blocked, Ronnie. Abraham Tobias sending that right back to Deal, New Jersey. That was Brady Berger attempting the three. And Tobias, that wasn't a typical block shot. That was a swap Norm. back into the fan section. Ron, it's getting intense with the two fan bases Norm. on this neutral court in Bergen County. That block. It's a steal by Hillel. Yes, that, Ron. That block hit the top of the highest banner in this in this building, Norman. I don't think the fans at home can really understand what that block was. Okay, Ron. Halpert inbounds it to Blechner. Back to Halpert. 
Halper dribbling to his left. And a beautiful layup. This kid is looking really, really strong, Ron, as yeah. the Sting go up 8-5. to five. It's going to be a battle between Epstein and Blechner and Halper. Okay, Epstein bounce pass to Terran. Terran takes a lane. He's blocked from behind, but a foul is called. Okay, so that's the third foul on SAR. Terran will go to the line for two, Ron. He's hit two so far. He's two for two from the line. He has two points, Zakari has three. On the other end, SAR has eight points. In an intense first three and a half minutes. Terran misses the first foul shot. Hillel is only two for five from the foul line. That's right, Hillel struggling early on for those easy points. I mean, SAR will make them earn. They are a physical team, Norman. Okay, eight to six as we're first getting settled in here in historic Bergen County. Halper down low, and it's blocked again by Tobias. Tobias has three wow. blocks in the first four minutes of this contest. Tobias is ready to get his hands dirty this afternoon, Norman. There's no question about it. Okay, it's an inbound. Goldberg goes in, and that one's true. That one rattled around the rim a couple of times before it fell. 10 to 6 SAR, and it's an early timeout by Hillel. 3.52 left in the first. SAR Sting 10, Hillel Heat 6. Yeah, I mean, Hillel just needs to get their shot selection a little bit better. The defensive intensity is there. And I'm not sure if SAR will be able to continue to hit these contested shots. With that being said, Norman, I am seeing a little bit of poor shot selection on the Hillel side, as well as some uncharacteristic turnovers. If they can barrel down on that, they should be primed for the rest of, of a successful first quarter. Well, Ron, you got to remember, nerves and butterflies have to play a factor here. This is You keep saying it's a regular game, and you want to tell yourself it's a... I guess they're sticking with their starting five, yeah. Ron. And so are the Sting, except for the exception of... No, Sepp Persian was in to begin with. It's Berger, Persian, Goldberg, Blechner, and Halper for the Sting. It is Tobias, Zakaria, Epstein, Terran, and Rishti for the Heat. Terran down low, bounce pass to Tobias. Beautiful bounce pass from Terran to Tobias. High-level basketball on display here. Norman. Tobias having an excellent game between his uh, couple of steals, three block shots. Nice layup there. Here's Halpert again. Halpert almost a little bit out of control there. Zakari with the rebound. Hillel's got to get it over the half line over there. Epstein does just that. Looks like he's going to take it himself underneath. Off the backboard. No good. It's a steal. Oh, Terran. Oh, and they're going to call a foul on Epstein, a reach-in foul on Bruce Epstein, it looks like. Yeah, it was a smart play by Epstein. Probably just got a little bit too close to the hips and elbows of, I guess that was Halper. And a foul was called. But good effort there for an attempt at easy two points. Coach Ken Gleason of the Sting, happy that Epstein able to rack up his first foul. Yeah. If he can get Epstein out, he'll put a really hard task on the rest of that Hillel bench. That's a long three-pointer, and that is a yep. swish, and look Evan at that Goldberg. net. A high arcing three by Goldberg. He's two for two, Norman. Evan Goldberg having himself a game as well. That was a high archer, Ron, almost hit the rafters. Epstein crossover, looking for Zakari to kick it out, and oh, that's yeah. a double dribble, yeah. Ron. Yeah. Yeah, the SAR didn't get their hand on the ball there, so Epstein unable to recalibrate his dribble. And when he did, the referees, although with the late call, the right call nonetheless. 
Okay, Halpert will bring it up. Hillel trails by five. Halpert, top of the key. Goldberg calling for it, but Halpert's going to take it himself. He has Blechner in the corner. Back to Halpert. Here's Goldberg inside. Bounce pass. Wow. And that's a foul and one. Wow. They found a wide open Seth Persian. Phenomenal passing by the Sting to set up that easy layup, Norman. Nothing Halal was able to do to catch up in their zone. You know, when Halpert and Goldberg are going to be hitting every shot, you're going to creep up a little bit closer to them. And if they do one little pump fake, that's going to be true for them. And they found a wide open Persian. Zakaria fouled them from behind, but it was an easy shot for him to hit. He did miss the foul shot. It is 15 to 8. Epstein to Rishti in the corner. Pump fake. And now he's fouled from three point land. Yeah. He'll get three shots. That's right, Norman. Brady Berger was the foul call there. He was he was really hustling to catch up to Max Rushdi. And when he did finally catch up to him, he didn't get a piece of Max Rushdi's hand, which is why he was fouled. And now Rushdi will go to the line for three, Norman. Hillel is only three for six from the free, uh, from the free throw line. So they're leaving points on the board, but Rishti hits the first of three. So they're now four for seven, Ron. If you want to just mark that so we can keep track there. Four for seven from the line. Now Rishti with two more. Haven't seen a substitution yet from either squad. Rishti misses the second, and here comes Maurice Solomon. He's in for Jason Zakaria, who will take a breather with 2.10 left in the first. 15 to nine, Sting. Rishti. It's the second, it's the third, so we went two for three just now, Ron. 15 to 10, Sting. Two minutes left, and that's an errant pass, and it goes out of bounds. Yep. That's a gift for Hillel. They'll try to capitalize. Too high for Brady Berger on that pass. He is the shortest man on this court. He does make it up for his hustle and heart, but Nonetheless, unable to contain that pass, and Epstein will get the ball right back in his hands. Epstein to Rishti, back to Epstein, over to Rishti, looking down low for Terran. Epstein resets, gets a Tobias, bounce pass to Terran. Blocked from behind, Terran again, missed the bottom one. Tobias, a rebound, and it's good. 15 12. The offensive rebounding effort by Hillel's astronomical was so far this afternoon, Norman. They are challenging every ball. Abraham Tobias is having an excellent game. He's rebounding, he's causing turnovers, and he's blocking shots. He also had a nice pass there, even though it wasn't executed. Goldberg to the corner, and that's tipped away by Terran. A 15-12 game, 118 left in the first. Terran and Tobias really controlling the trenches down low, Norman. Halper takes a deep one. That one's off. Rebound by Solomon. He has Rishti, but Rishti does not have the numbers. He'll hold it. Rishti perhaps had some bias on the backdoor pass. Didn't see him. Nice rebound by Maurice Shahabar. My mistake. Calling him Solomon. I'm thinking of his father, who is Sally Solomon Shahabar. Okay, Maurice Shehebar will inbound from under the basket. You know, Norman, what's interesting is that in middle school and high school play, both uh, jersey numbers are not allowed to exceed the number five so that referees can signal to, to the scoring tables. But I'm looking at Evan Goldberg, who's wearing the number nine, and we haven't seen that all season. That is an infraction by league rules. Well, you'll report that because if you hold up nine fingers, you would think that it's a 54 45. or right. a 45, depending on how you go about that. That goes about uh, high school and a collegiate level, Norman. That rule is maintained strictly. Max Richley will inbound to Epstein. It is a 15-12 game. SAR with the lead. Rishti thought about it, did not pull the trigger. Rishti thought about it again. Sting with great defense here in a 2-3, but they really challenged the shooter. And it looks like Terran lost the ball. That's a turnover by Hillel. Yeah, I'm not sure about that call. I, from my point of view, it looked like Blechner got a piece of that ball and he should have stayed with Hillel. I think the call was it. Blechner definitely got a piece of it. I think it rolled off of Terran's fingertips before going out of bounds. Goldberg. To Blechner, back to Goldberg, who does a floater. Fight for the rebound, and Epstein gets the loose ball, throws it across the court. 
And Shahibar hits the shot. What a pass from Epstein to Rishti to Shahabar for that bucket. And we end the first quarter wow. 15 to 14. Halal scored the last six points of that yeah. quarter. I'm seeing such great hustle and some high-level basketball here, Ron. No doubt about it. I mean, both teams crashing the boards, willing to be physical. See Tobias, Goldberg, and Blockner get very much involved in the physicality of this game because as time winds down and the scoreboard is short, he, elbows will get sharp. Ron, very interesting. The teams are, are pretty evenly um, matched up, and they both run the same way. Like, Epstein and Halpert control the game, but they don't have to be the ones that are leading the scoring. They like to get their other role players involved, and the role players are good. I mean, look at Goldberg hitting those two three-pointers and making noise throughout the court. And then, of course, you look at Zakaria and the others. Yeah, Everyone I mean, getting involved. These star players have weapons around them. And when star players have weapons, Norman, what they call them is role players. And role players can do a role. So when star players have role players, that, and everyone understands that everyone is in sync with one another, that's when your team's a championship team. And only then, Norman. Looks like the uh, referee is talking to the commissioner about something at the scores table. That's the reason for this delay. Coach Ken Gleason and Coach Jackie Eshko both being spoken to as well about something. Let's see, the commissioner is now getting up and walking to the southeastern end of the gymnasium, Ron, here in historic Bergen County. Of course, Ron, we don't know why it's named Bergen County. Is it because one of the earliest Dutch settlers was named Bergen? Or is it because Bergen is Dutch for Hill? That's a machloka that's gone on for years. Norman. Before the game, I sat down with a book by Dr. Francis Augusta Westervelt of 1704 lineage who wrote the following publication, The History of Bergen County. According to him, it was a culmination of Wilson Davenport Webb, Howard Geddes Forsett, and Marinade Contins who got together, established a town with a supermarket, a community center, and a gym where they were able to get together on their free time after work when they were able to and establish Bergen County as we know it today. Well, Ron, the Bergen County of 400 years ago when the early Lenape tribe was settled here looks way different than it does today. However, if you walk down River Road like yeah. I know you did, or if you walk down Cedar Avenue like I know you did earlier today in our pregame, you'll note that those are the same Indian trails from 400 years ago. There are some homes and structures in this town of Teaneck, Ron, yeah. that are here for 300 years. Amazing history here in Bergen County. No doubt that played a role in the decision by Commissioner Foreman to have the finals here in Bergen County. Absolutely, just a rich, rich history here in Teaneck. And there is some titter-tattering, Norman, between the SAO. Yes, well, the SAR and Hallel benches. Well, let's say what's going on here, and our cameraman will get the two ends. Um, the SAR has been on that end the entire game, and now Hallel asking for, you know, even play. They put their fans on that end. Um, so... It's just going to be even uh, fan representation. It's just a result of a really packed Jim Norman and both sides willing to get whatever advantage and edge they can in today's game. Uh, Ronnie, uh, a child has run onto the court now as this delay continues. Um, as it seems that Coach Jackie Eskenazi for Hillel is just looking for even rep fan representation. Why should one team have their fans on one corner of the gym and the other team be limited to the bleachers? But now, Norman, they're fully on the court in that right-hand corner. That's just that's Jason to carry his own to hit a three-pointer, and they're in it. Now, Coach Ken Gleason telling his team, don't be distracted. Of course, Jackie Eshko and Ed Zucker telling his team the same. All these are uh, antics by both schools going on here. And now we're going to get back to the ball game. It's a 14-15 to 15 game, 15-14. Hillel down by one. Goldberg from the elbow. That's off the backboard. Rebounded by Epstein and then Tobias. 
That was a fight for the rebound. Tobias gets credited with the rebound. Epstein brings it up. Bounce pass to Tobias. It's good. Great find by Epstein and a great finish by Tobias as Hillel takes her first lead of the afternoon. 16, no Ronnie, I correct you. Jason Zakaria gave us a lead at three nothing early on. It is now 16 to 15 Hillel. They've scored eight in a row. Goldberg, top of the key. And another elbow shot, and that one short, rebounded by Epstein. Hillel has a full team effort crashing the boards. Epstein to Rishti. Rishti holding it. Back to Epstein. Down low off of Terran, and that's going to be a turnover. A good idea by Epstein. It's the second time Terran mishandled a pass. But if that connected, that was going to be an easy two for Terran. Yes, I'm not sure if Terran expected a bounce pass there. It was a laser chest pass. Terran unable to handle it. But Norm, look at that southwestern corner. I mean, that's completely crowded by state fans. Okay. That's Maurice Haybar got his hands on that ball. 16 to 15. Maurice Haybar, I like to think of him as the better half of Jason Zakaria defensively, Norman. He's not able to get that same free throw percentage efficient, but when you want a defensive anchor, you bring in Maurice Haybar. Oh, that almost went off the leg of Halper, but he recovered. Blackner from the corner. That's short, rebounded by the Sting. Loose ball. And a timeout wow. is called by a heads-up Terran. Terran no, fell on the floor, called timeout immediately, and granted it by the referees. Not only is this team talented, Norman, and both these teams, not only are both these teams talented, but they have a basketball mind. These teams have been playing together with their teams for the last seven, eight years or so. So when I tell you that they have basketball awareness, boy, do they have basketball awareness. Ronnie, there's six minutes and 35 seconds left in this first half, and the game is sitting at 16 to 15. This and is what you hope for in a finals game, Ronald. And head of general studies, Mrs. Rifke Edelman, who, mind you, lives in T-Nex, so not to respect for her, strolls into the court as she will root on her squad. So much of Hillel's academic performance. And so much of Hillel's uh, academic teachers yes. and administrators are from Bergen County. Many in Hillel saying, hey, I have an idea why this game was played in Bergen County. Forget the history of the Lenape tribes. It's perhaps an easier trek for their teachers. Yeah. Conspiracy theories are abound. But either way, here we are, Ron, as Hillel Epstein throws it to Rishti in the corner for three. That short, rebounded by Terran, back up, and he's fouled. How is that no shot? They're going to call a foul on the ground, probably a rebounding foul by... Yeah, that's Evan Goldberg. Okay, you were looking for number 54, as we yeah. spoke about earlier. Another turnover off the body of Terran. He's not having his best game handling these, uh, you know, sharp passes. Credit SAR, they are putting their hands on everything. Norm, don't we have 18 points? No, 16-15. High arcing three. High rebounded by Goldberg, and that's good. And SAR takes the lead, 17 to 16. Goldberg now the, the game scoring leader with eight points today. He had two three-pointers and then that layup. And Epstein, Epstein gets away with the Shehabar. travel. Epstein to Shahabar again. Shahabar for three. Off the backboard, no good. And Halper bringing it up for this thing. He drives, what a move. Oh man, wow. Ronnie. Like Swiss cheese, he just, that was like a hot knife through, <laughs> through butter, Ron. That was right through, no problem there. An explosive move by Halper as SAR now has scored four in a row. Halper really talented on the drive. Tobias to Rishti in the corner for three. That's an air ball rebounded by Tobias. He's fouled. And that's a foul by Jonah Blechner. Jonah Blechner. Jonah Blechner, not just a great basketball player, a fine individual, Ronnie. I had a chance to speak with him in the pregame. He's giving me the history of the team. How disappointed they were last year in seventh grade that they didn't have a season to play in. Not only that, the year before in sixth grade, they only played one game. 
just relishing the fact that he and his classmates can play in organized ball again this year. And I believe, Norman, now Halel is in the one and one free throw shooting. Uh, and Ron, hours. the one and ones are so important. You got to hit that first one. I mean, I'll state the obvious. You hit the first one, you get a second. And it's just so important. It's, it's such a big difference if you miss that first one. It's almost like a turnover, you know? Like yeah. you, you cashed in nothing. It looks like Jason Zakaria will check in the game for Max Rishti. Maurice Habar staying in the game with Karen, Tobias, and Epstein. Just over five minutes remain. Halel trails 19 to 18. Halper. Goldberg thought about almost a half court shot. He steps back, he takes a long three. Oh, wow. He wasn't trying to do that, but he banked it in and he's smiling from ear to ear. He doesn't care. He'll take that. That's his third three pointer. He has 11 points now. Epstein to Shehebar. Halel almost loses it. Inside to Tobias. A pump fake, a turnaround. It's blocked. Yep. Yep. Oh, they pulled the foul on Goldberg. No, well, Goldberg was upset, but the foul was actually on number 33, William Milstein. Not happy with the call as a sting. Well, as Tobias will get two free throws. Goldberg didn't know that the foul wasn't on him, so he was going crazy that, that he got called for a foul and he had a clean block. Not knowing that his teammate, William Milstein, was called for the body foul. Tobias will go to the line. It's a 22-18 game. Make that 22-19 now. Abraham Tobias had a good looking move there. It was like a Patrick Ewing dribble turnaround. It was blocked, but like we said, he was fouled as well. Yeah. Line drive. <laughs> that was a line drive free throw. That, that's true. So Hillel scores two points on that possession. SAR leads 22 to 20. Halper to Rosenberg to Goldberg to Blechner. Back to Goldberg. Long three. He's fouled. Oh, I didn't see that. He was sort of fouled after the shot run, but he'll go to the line for three. You got to let him complete his motion. Goldberg having an excellent game shooting wise. He's an intense player. He's jumping and he has the uh, reaction to almost anything and everything that happens. You like to see that from the youngster. Yeah. He's not out of control by any uh, stretch of the imagination. He's simply excited to be out there, Ron. Absolutely. He missed the first, he'll get two more. Interesting that he takes his foul shot from a full 12 inches behind the foul line. You know Co Coach Ken Gleason isn't thrilled with that. He's making it a little bit harder on himself. As he'll tie his shoe. Interesting that he goes with the bright red to complement his yellow and black. With the tied shoe, and now Halper being, Blechner being a good teammate, ties his shoe. Blechner, of course, goes with the bunny ears method to yeah. tie his, his sneaker. All different ways taught at that young level to tie your shoes. Sometimes you graduate from one way and graduate onto a next one. Other times it stays with you your entire life. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really just a matter of, uh, Sporadic habits, Norman. Epstein looking for somebody, picks up his dribble. Terran to Tobias, to Rishti. Rishti trapped in the corner. Loose ball, and it's a steal. Caleb Rosenberg, and then Epstein blocks him from behind. Epstein able to track down Blechner. Sorry, Rosenberg. Or to get that, the block. That was Caleb Rosenberg with the steal and he tried taking it coast to coast, blocked by Epstein. Oh, a missed layup. A rare missed layup by Blechner. He didn't use the backboard, he had to, he mistimed it. And now Hillel, Epstein going coast to coast. Fight for the rebound. And Hillel will have to get back around the back. Halpert is unbelievable. Blocked from behind again. This is unbelievable, Ron. Defensive intensity and level of game plays at an all-time high here, Norman. Halel twice just avoided a backcourt violation in both passes just now. Yeah. They got that to set their feet in. Oh, another turnover, but Halel recovers. Oh, no. Very sloppy play, a little too fast for Halel. 
as it's 24-20. Norman, if I'm Jackie Eshko, I cannot believe that I'm living with fans on the southern, on the southern eastern side of my offensive. It's crazy court. that it's allowed that they could have that many fans basically on the court. I guess that was blocked, but recovered by SAR. Another three, rebounded by Rishti. I don't know how the SAR bench is allowed to have all those no, fans over there. It's completely blocking the northern side of our offense. All those fans over there, I'm not sure how that's allowed when Hillel has the ball in that corner. It's a complete disadvantage for them that they, those fans are basically on the court. I'm not sure how that's legal. Jay, tell the ref they're on the court. They're on the court. 24 to 20. Max Rishti at the line for a one and one. He hits the first. Norm, Hillel's free throw shooting has gotten dra dramatically better. They're now 10 for 13 at the line. After starting out, just a mere two for five. Wow, Ron, that's, that's eight in a row. Wow. Okay, Max Rishti hits both. It's a 24-22 game. What a, what a game this is. We are seeing some real athleticism led by Halpert and Goldberg and Blechner for the Sting. Epstein, Tobias. For Halal, here's Goldberg again, a fadeaway. Wow, Goldberg. This guy's on fire. 15 points for Goldberg today, Norman. He's he gotta is. be the team's, uh, the, the, the game's leading scorer oh, with yes. 15. What a game he's having early on. 26-22, Goldberg did a fadeaway and switched it. Epstein to the corner, Zakaria. See, that's a, I don't know how they could allow that. Zakaria was not allowed to take his three points. It's crazy. Uh, now the ref is going to finally do something. It's, it, you can't have. No. I don't know how that's allowed. They're on the court. Their sneakers are towing the line of the court. How could some? How could a player take a shot like that? They can't be there. Okay. Uh, two minutes left in this half. I assume they'll, they won't be able to switch sides when Hillel's on the other side in the second half. Zakaria, weak pass, saved by Epstein. Epstein to Rishti, goes baseline. Terran, Epstein rebounds it, and it'll be another chance for Hillel. Epstein, bounce pass, and he loses it again. Sloppy play by Hillel. It's Halpert, he's fouled from on behind. The ground, on the ground. That's the second foul on Epstein. No, they're going to say it's a shooting foul. That foul was definitely on the ground, but I guess they're... Stay out of the corner. Look at this kid. Look at this kid. Ripping the Hillel shirt. I'm going to grab it out of the I'm going to go low. I can't never go Okay, so Halper will go to the line. He hits it. Watch the wires. Some, uh... Okay, some Hillel board of directors going over to protest some of the activity and behavior on the SAR fan base. As Ike Masters in a full sprint. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the um, the Hillel shirt that was being ripped up has been taken away by Hillel board member, member Ike Mastery. Reminds me of the famous uh, American flag being burned in Dodger Stadium, Ron. And the Dodgers player running to retrieve it. Ike Mastery just absolutely furious with the behavior from some of the fans at SAR. Yeah, and rightfully I'd, so. I, I'd say that's over the line. As Halper takes a long three, rebounded by Terran, 28 to 22. SAR leads by six with a minute 15 left in the first half. Epstein picks up his dribble with nowhere to go. Zakaria, bounce pass. Terran for three. That's off the mark. Halper with the rebound. See if they're subtle for one. There is 56 seconds. Goldberg thought about shooting that from way behind the arc, so I don't know if they're waiting for one. Gleason does not look like he's telling them to wait for one. It's a 28-22 lead by SAR. Ron, there's just so much going on. You have an excellent game on the court. You have SAR fans that are basically towing the line of the court by the SAR bench, basically 
rendering that corner unplayable, which I, I don't know how that's the setup for this game. And Norman, I've never seen in all my years living in Deal, New Jersey, Maurice Acaria just, just his words are falling on deaf ears. He's in deep trouble. I don't know if he should even be in the game for the final 43 seconds of this half, Ron. Yeah, well, both teams are definitely playing physical. Okay, it looks like Epstein is in the game. You cannot let him get a foul here. He has two already. There's only 43 seconds left. I don't think he should be in the game for the final 43 seconds. Caleb Rosenberg will inbound it. He inbounds it to Halper. Kick by Goldberg. Back to Rosenberg. Rosenberg dribbling through traffic. There's 30 seconds left, and the Sting are going to hold for one. Now pass to the corner, it turned over. Yep. Epstein Epstein. with the steal. 22 seconds. Well, gonna, the refs are gonna say it's going the same way. I'm not sure if that bounced off of Max Richie's hands before going out of bounds, but I, the refs called the I same way. I think it did. Uh, Halal needs to be more careful with their passes. Normally. Yes, their passes have been very, very sloppy in the second quarter. They have more than their share of turnovers. Six seconds left, Tobias. Another beautiful pass and shot. Epstein to Tobias, full court heave. Ronnie, that, that heave looked accurate. If there's and ever a game where that's gonna go in, it's today, Norman. Ronnie, it is 28 to 24. The Sting lead Halal at halftime. I, I don't even know how we break this down. There's just so much going on in this gym. I mean, fights in every corner so far, Norman. I mean, yeah. In the southeastern corner, where the SAR fir fans first settled, is where Ike Mastery and Z Mr. Zakaria are in a board member fight with those from SAR about some of the behavior being displayed, as well as some of the fan uh, intrusions so far today, Norman. I, I don't see... Um well, besides for the ripped T-shirt, which is not really acceptable for any for any school, besides for that, it's just cheering basically, which which is okay. I don't see how the league allows them basically to be on the court. That's not fair to the players. Um, it's certainly not fair to the players of the team that's shooting at that end. And what's even more interesting, Norman, is where will that SAR fan uh, base migrate now? Now that the now that possession hours are switched, yeah. Will they go to the northern corner, or will they stay in their zone, serving as a detriment advantage to, uh, now, to Ron, SAR? All of this is distraction to, from the game. The game is an excellent ball game. It is 28 to 24. Uh, SAR uh, has a player in Goldberg that's just having a, a, a game of his, of his yeah. life over here today. Um, you had him as your player to watch, and boy, are we watching him. I mean, everyone in this gym is watching him. It's shot after shot. Absolutely, Goldberg already with nine points today. That's a it's four three pointers, and sorry three three pointers, a free throw, and two jumpers. As as Goldberg just completely taking over the offense. So that's fourteen for points. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen points. 15. Wow, um, that's some game out of uh, out of Goldberg. And then on the other end, we have um, Abraham Tobias, I believe, leading the way for Hillel on the scoring end. Um, yeah, Tobias with 12 points, and then you have Rishki with four, Terran with three, Zakaria with two, and Jahabar with two, leading up to a 28 to 24 SAR lead. Tobias not only leading the Heat in scoring, but also um, in block shots. Yeah, and he's he's having the game for Hillel uh, so far. As fans from both teams right now are on the court shooting their buckets, little kids. Hoping to be in a position like this for a chance at a championship one day in their older years. Um, so, I mean, all in all, it's an excellent ball game, Ron. And 28-24 uh, could go either way. Just an absolute packed house here in Bergen County. Both sides bringing their finest. Sammy Saka in attendance. Rabbi Avi Blotner in attendance. All parents and coaches and the like in attendance.
Testing. Where? Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I can't hear Ronnie. I can't hear him. Hello. 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 Okay, that's good. Sorry. Uh, we are back. I think we hit one of the wires. Um, okay, so we are back. We are waiting for Hillel to come back on the gym, back and, into the gym. And the newly hired security team, which I believe was just hired in the last five or 10 minutes or so, will make sure that that SAR fan base will stay in the corner that they started in because I don't know how any offense can operate like that. Okay, Ron, um, 28 to 24 at halftime. Should be a thrilling second half. And where is Hillel? Hillel is not yet out on the court. SAR is ready to go. Coach Ken Gleason looking for his opponent. Perhaps they got lost in the maze that is the TABC, uh, TABC trenches. Okay, so now we see Coach Ken Gleason going to the student body in that corner. It looks like they're going to remain there although a much slimmer contingency over there. That corner has been subject to much controversy in the first half of this contest with the fans in that corner by the SAR far bench uh, basically towing the line throughout the game. And the commissioner is now looking for Hillel. No one is sure where they are. I assume someone will be sent to their locker room to tell them. I mean, this could result, Ronnie, in a, de in a delay of game. I mean, shortly. The Zebras seem to be getting a little bit agitated, and I can't say I blame them. I did notice it was not eight minutes on the clock at halftime. The no. scoreboard was reset no. to five minutes. But even so, add three minutes, and Hillel is still delayed coming out of their locker room. I could only imagine what's going on in there right now. And everyone is as confused as we are. I'm seeing a bunch of confused faces, faces in the stands, wondering where the Hillel Heat are. I'm sure they wouldn't leave at 28-24. <laughs> And the buzzer has sounded again. I think that was just as a warning bell if anyone from the Hillel locker room could hear it. And now we have... And now a fire alarm is going off. And they are going to look to eject the fan. Yep. That's a varsity Hillel player that's gonna be escorted out of this gymnasium for triggering a fire alarm. Oh boy, security is there. Um, I don't know if he leaned on the fire door or if he actually I can't pushed imagine, the fire alarm, Ron. I can't imagine he, <laughs> he did that on purpose, Norman. I mean, what would be the benefits of triggering a fire alarm? By the way, the Hillel Heat has arrived back in the court. Uh, to a to a standing ovation by both sides. I'm not sure if there's some. Uh, I don't know if they're being facetious or not, Ron. But both both sides are happy that there will be a second half. Okay, so we will play basketball, and no punishments were given out for the delay of game. But Halel unable to get warm up in that second half. That gentleman ejected from the gymnasium for the no, fire alarm. No, no, he pleaded his case and is able to stay upon a written warning. Okay. Here we are, Ronnie. Second half action. Halel trails by four. Zakaria inbounds to Rishti back to Zakaria. Looks like Zakaria is at the top of the key. That's a change from the first half. So Terran goes baseline to Tobias. Out to Epstein. Epstein from the wing. He drives. And they call an offensive foul, and that's his third foul. Yeah. That is trouble for Hillel. And it looks like Coach Jackie Eshko is going to keep him in the game. 
That's a gamble. That's a gamble because you only get five fouls. I believe that's his third. I'm not 100% sure as the scoreboard does not say how many fouls each player has. So yeah, that's an unofficial count. He's got to be careful. Okay, Blechner drives to the baseline. Halpert. That's a fadeaway three-pointer from the oh, corner. No. And that goes off of Terran. Terran has got to catch that one. Terran really having a hard time handling the basketball today. It, it was an undisputed rebound as well. That was one of the rare rebounds that went uncontested. Okay, Goldberg at the top of the key. He almost loses it. Blechner kicks it out. And that's a three-pointer miss. Goldberg with the rebound and an easy putback. It was Brady Berger who took the three-pointer. Missed it, but Goldberg was right there for the rebound and putback. 30 to 24. Six-point lead by SAR. Epstein takes a three-pointer and he banks it in. That'll even things up, Ron. Goldberg hit a bank three-pointer by mistake earlier. And now Epstein hit his own bank. I guess in Bergen County, the banks are open on Sundays. Norman, Epstein's gonna start getting involved on the scoring table instead of just assists now, Norman. He needs to take this game into his own hands. And they call a reach and oh. foul on Max Rishti there, and Goldberg claps as he walks right by him. He's got some personality, this Goldberg. Not afraid to play with emotion. Inbounded to Ari Halpert. Halpert between his legs to Blechner, back to Halpert. He's thinking of a three from there, Ronnie, and that's stolen by Tobias. That's gotta be his 10th steal of the game. He's having an unbelievable defensive and offensive game. Abraham Tobias. Rishti into Tobias. He's gonna dribble. He's fouled. Yeah. I'll tell you. Abraham Tobias is a great player, but I've never seen him play as good no. as he's playing today. He's leading the way for Hillel. He's taking the ball, being physical with the ball, and going up, drawing those fouls, Norman, and he's six for six with his free, th for his free throws. To oh, they're gonna say that's on the ground? There's no play that he hasn't been involved in on offense or defense. It's, yep. it's an amazing performance out of him. He's really stepping up in the biggest moments. Zakaria to Epstein. Epstein is in the corner. Bounce pass to Terran. Terran, he adjusted mid-air, missed the layup to Rishti in the corner, and that's blocked. But Terran recovers it, and it's going to be a... Yeah. Is yeah, it a jump a ball? What no, is it? It's going to be a foul on Goldberg. It's going to be a foul on Goldberg. Yeah. Okay. Halel will inbound. They trail by three. There's five minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter as William Milstein will check in. He'll give a breather to Persian, Seth Persian coming out of the game. Okay, Epstein to Zakaria in the corner and that's off the back of the backboard. We are back here. Ari Halpert bringing it up. To Blechner. Berger down low. And that was Milstein who checked in. He missed the layup. Epstein recovered. Picks up his dribble. Maurice Shehabar checked in. It's good. It's a one point game. Brilliant Hillel passing trails. by Epstein to find the open terrain. As Halal is just down one point. Halper drives. He was fouled from behind, but no call. And Halal will recover. I believe Shahabar got away with a foul there, Ron. He was riding his back a little bit. Perhaps. This gymnasium is allowed. 30 to 29 with exactly five minutes left in the third quarter. Only 13 minutes left in this season. And it's a one point game. Rishti picks up his dribble, a little dangerous. Epstein back to Rishti, bounce pass to Terran. Terran to Tobias, turn around and he's fouled again. 
And Tobias will go back to the foul line, yeah. where, as you mentioned, Ron, he's six for six today. And he was supposed to go to the foul line before on a previous possession by Hallel, but the Zebras called it on the ground foul. Now his free three, his free three, his free throw capabilities will be tested again. Okay, he wears number 12. He says that's for the 12 tribes. Yeah. He hits it to tie the game at 30. That one's a little bit too strong, and we have a tie ball game with four and a half minutes left. Oh. That's a steal yeah. by Tobias. But a whistle, no basket. The Oh, it was a smart timeout by the SAR. He just got it off in time. Wow, Ronnie. So it was a timeout when they wow. saw they were struggling to yeah. advance the ball, I guess. But it, but it was called in time, Norman. It was. There was a whistle before that steal by Tobias. Tie ball game with four and a half minutes remaining in the championship game for the eighth grade. SAR Sting, one loss all year. Hillel Heat, no losses wow. all year. I mean, just a, a well-fought game from beginning till this point, and I expect it to continue, Ronald. No, absolutely. Both these teams are going to give it their all. Both these teams are going to play a physical brand of basketball, as they have both shown throughout the season. I mean, this is the first time Halel is being tested, so all their talents will be challenged. As Shahabar will get in for Zakaria. Shahabar, I believe, is the only guy off the bench to come in. Halel has been playing this entire game with only six players. Yeah. And I can't name anybody other than Milstein, who has come in. Oh, and Rosenberg for SAR. Halper catches the jump ball. Over to Berger in the corner. Bleckner back to Goldberg. He's their leader today. Goldberg, a nice pass. Lechner back to Goldberg for another three. This okay. one short, rebounded by Milstein. And that's good, that second chance points at this point in the game and the season and the finals, that'll hurt you. Yeah. For either side, you cannot give up offensive rebounds. Halel trails 32 to 30. Epstein to Rishti, back to Epstein. It looks like he's ready to pull the trigger but instead takes a pass and lets Rishti do it. Rishti misses the three, and it's another rebound by Goldberg. He's got at least 10 rebounds. Goldberg, no one's stopping his dribble. He's gonna go coast to coast, kicks it out. Blechner's wide open for a three, and he misses it, and that's gonna go out of bounds off of Shehabar. Yeah. It'll stay here with SAR. I'd like to see Zakaria get back in this game, Norman. A little bit more of offensive integrity from him. Goldberg checks it in, and that's a foul yeah. by Shehabar on the body. Yeah, he just completely pushed Halpert there, Norman. Not, not a great foul there because you're, you're racking up the fouls. You don't want SAR to be living at the foul line at the end of this game, and that foul really didn't accomplish much. That's a long pass. Blechner controlling the ball. Crosses over half court. Three minutes, 20 seconds left. A dangerous pass. You're never going to get away with a pass like that against no. this Hillel defense. 32-30, SAR leads. Epstein! Oh. And they called the travel yeah, on that I, run. I thought he had those two legal steps, Norman. No complaint from Epstein, but I thought also that he passed it in time. Jackie Eshko not thrilled with that call. Blechner taking his time. Three minutes left in the third. SAR leads by two in the finals, and that's a steal by Shehabar, but goes out of bounds. Halel is trying to contest every single pass. But I can't understand why Shehabar is getting more minutes than Zakaria. We have reached a scoring uh, stoppage almost at 32-30. Goldberg looks to change wow. that, and he does. Goldberg, 20 points, Norman. 20 points, and now, now he's mocking the crowd. 35-30. Epstein drives. He's fouled and, and won.
That's a beautiful response out of Bruce Epstein after the Goldberg three. Goldberg wasn't even facing the basket when he hit his three-pointer. He was facing sideways in another beautiful shot. For 18th, 19th, and 20th points of the contest. Epstein came back, took it himself, fouled, and hit the layup. Epstein playing a little bit of bully ball tonight, Norman. He goes bank, and it's 35 to 33. The three-point bucket by Goldberg, followed by the traditional old-fashioned three-point play by Epstein. It's a two-point game here in the finals. SAR has led by as many as seven. Hillel has led by, I'd say, maximum of three or four points. It's been back and forth all afternoon. Halpert goes baseline. That's a steal by Terran. Hillel will charge across. Here's Epstein. He takes it himself. He's hit, but no call. Gets his own rebound. He's blocked. Rebounded by F by Tobias. The ball's loose. Shahabar grabs it. You cannot even hear yeah. the whistles it'll in this stay, game. It'll stay with Hillel, Norman. That was a kickball by violation by the Sting. It'll stay with Hillel. Ronnie, it's so loud in here, it's hard to even hear the whistles. Epstein bounce pass to Rishti. Nice pass. Epstein found Terran. He goes under the basket and he's fouled. I thought Terran had an easier layup if he just took it straight, but instead yeah. he went under the basket. But he did draw the foul. 35 to 33. Terran will go to the line for two. Coach Zucker calling the remaining four players into a huddle. Norman, does that help Terran when he's shooting these free throws? I don't think it has any effect. He's got to hit the foul shot there. Hillel down two. He's got to at least hit this one run. 35-33. Second of two foul shots for Terran. Lefty shoots, and it's good. We now have a one-point game. Halpert will bring it up. A pick on the left side by Milstein. Yeah, Blechner goes baseline. Nice move, but missed the layup, and it's a rebound by Terran. That was a beautiful move by Blechner, but couldn't complete it. Epstein looking to give Hillel the lead. Down low to Shehebar. Blocked from behind, recovered by Terran. Tobias, bounce pass, and that one is lost. Not strong enough there by Tobias, and the Sting cut it off. A minute 20 left. Halpert and Berger playing catch. Halpert with his left hand through his legs. This kid can handle the ball, but throws it away. Well, I thought that hit Halpert, Norman. Halpert saying it didn't hit him, and they're saying it must have got deflected by Hillel at some point because it'll stay with the sting. I guess Hillel must have deflected that ball at some point there, went out of bounds on Hillel. Sting ball, Halpert. And that's another foul by Shehebar. Not a good, re it's a reach in foul, and it's not a uh, not a good foul there again, and, Ron. And, and his foul count is getting up there. I can expect the carrier to get in anytime soon. Looks like Jackie Eshko is sticking with Rishti, Shehebar, Epstein, yeah. Tobias. He sees something in Shehebar that the carrier can't offer. Okay, let's see, Halpert inbounds it. Blechner inbounds it to Halpert. Travel. And that's a travel. Yeah. He, he dribbled that ball over his shoulder, Ron. No complaint from coach Ken Gleason. I think he saw it as well. Hillel will recover with 49 seconds left. Tobias inbounds it to Epstein, who slowly dribbles it across. It's a one point lead by the Sting. Epstein goes, and they call another offensive no, foul. I don't know about that call, Norman. It sort of just seemed like like, like Persian just fell to the ground. I don't think even Epstein touched him. Okay, I saw Jackie Eshko just note that Epstein has three fouls now. So I, I must have been mistaken earlier in the game when I said he had three. So Epstein now has three fouls with 34 seconds left.
And another foul. By Shahabar. It's by Shahabar. Not sure how many he has, but they're going to bring in Nasser now. Nasser, a defensive and rebounding wizard for Hillel. Who's he coming in for? He's going to come in for Epstein because wow. he has three fouls. You can't let him get a fourth with 29 seconds left. Give him a 29-second breather and let him play the fourth quarter. Okay, Halpert at the line for... I guess it's a one and one. He hits the first. And I think... Okay, Jason Zakaria about to check back into the game, Ron. And he's going to go in for Nasser. So Nasser was just inserted simply for the foul shooting rebound for a moment. Um, Ron, you've been asking for Zakaria to be reinserted into this yeah. game. He has the capability to score from deep for Hillel. He's bringing the ball up now. Passes it to Shehebar. Zakaria to Rishti. So back into Tobias. Bounce pass to the corner. Terran almost lost it. Back to Tobias. Tobias looks like he's going to take it himself, but loses the ball down below. And it's a foul on Shehebar, Ron. Another call. Another call on Shehebar. He's got to have four fouls now, Norman. Yeah. I think he's fouled out, Ron. I think that's... I'm not sure if it's four or five. They don't have a scoreboard here that tells us how many fouls he has. It looks like he's staying in the game, so I, I'm sure he's fine. I would not put Bruce Epstein in this game with six seconds left when he has three fouls. We know he has three. There's no reason for him to be in this game with six seconds in the third quarter. I, I don't, Ron, I don't understand how you put your best player in with three fouls when there's six seconds left. Only a disaster can happen. And SAR making Shahabar pay for his... For his... Uh, the, the, the fouls were not hard enough where they were significant. They were insignificant fouls. It wasn't like they were open for, for a layup and you prevented that. SAR almost gets the offensive rebound. Tobias passes it, but that's the third quarter. Uh, an unbelievable quarter that ended very, very slow with constant uh, whistles all of a sudden. Yeah. Foul after foul after foul as SAR leads 38 to 34 after three, Ron. Norm, absolutely. Just <laughs> all that yeah. setting up to what's going to be a thrilling fourth quarter. SAR is up 38 to 34. So a four point lead for them and some things to look out for. Epstein, three fouls so far. Tobias needs to take over this game offensively. They cannot have, they cannot afford to let up any defensive or offensive rebounds go towards the sting. Goldberg definitely slowed down in the third quarter, Ron, but he did hit one of the biggest buckets of the game, which was that sideways yeah. three-pointer that he hit. Yeah, Goldberg has 20 points, Norman. So I think he had 15 at the half, or 16. So... Hillel has been able to has been able to minimize him. I'm not sure. Hillel has racked up a ton of fouls in the third quarter, so they might be in the double bonus. They're definitely in the one and one land. That's wow. for sure. They have to be careful. And um, it's not like uh, these, these these refs are calling a tight game, so you could see a lot of foul shots in this quarter. Hillel trails by four. The Sting eight minutes away from a championship, but this game has been back and forth all afternoon. And you gotta know these, these two teams are gonna leave it all out on the floor now, Ron. Yeah. This is what, you could see the commissioner across the court all smiles as this is exactly what he was hoping for, a tight game for the championship. Okay, Halpert. Passes it over to Blechner. Back to Blechner. He's going to drive. That's a good look, but the layup doesn't fall. Offensive rebound. That's no good. Contested. Thrown. It's a loose ball. Everyone on the floor. SAR recovers, and it's a travel. A lot of action in 28 seconds there. You saw Seth Persian had a couple of shots there. But Hillel recovers, and they trail by four. 
Not sure what the call was there. They're gonna make the carrier redo the inbound. As Goldberg remains on the sidelines. Ron, if you if, if that's a sign for what's to come in this quarter, every rebound will be fought for. Pump fake by Zakaria. Terran inside to Tobias. Tobias, a turnaround pass. Rishti for three. It's good! Rishti hits a three-pointer, and the SAR lead is only one. Rishti and Zakaria are in the game for their deep shots. Rishti hit one just now, and it turned the four-point lead down to one. And a loose ball foul, not a loose ball, a off-ball foul called on Rishti. That and is just not a mistake you can make when you're in the one and one No, I mean, the Sting were just simply dribbling the ball, and now they'll go to the line for at least a one-on-one, on one, one and one Again, I'm not sure how many team fouls they have as they are not posting it on the scoreboard here. It looks like it's a one and one Halpert at the line, he hits it. I mean, the fouls like that and the fouls that Hillel racked up throughout the third quarter, those uh, foolish fouls already paying dividends for the Sting as they get to go to the line on a, ball, on a play like that. That's two points. Yeah. That's two free points for the Sting and credit Halpert. He drained them both. Epstein with Hillel trailing by three. Zakaria back to Epstein, top of the key. Terran calling for it down low, but Epstein gets it up top. Zakaria and Epstein playing catch. Six minutes, 40 left. Over to Rishti on the right side. Terran calling for the ball down low. Epstein to Rishti. Terran finally gets it. Stutter step, down low, bounce pass to Tobias. He kicks it out to Epstein. Epstein a dribble, it's good. Good offensive possession from Hillel setting up the layup and floater from Epstein, but they gotta be careful here defensively, Norman. No fouls, absolutely no fouls. And Ron, you're right, they stayed calm there. That was a long possession. Halper for three. It's off the back rim, a loose rebound. Smart, smart. And they let it go out of bounds. Smart play. Tobias did a reverse box, box out. Instead of boxing out yeah. underneath, he let the ball go and blocked. Smart SAR play from by getting Tobias. It. Even if he got to that ball, he was gonna be put in a tough position. Instead, just box out SAR. Ron Goldberg checks back in. You know he'll be in for the remainder of this game. SAR leads by one. Six oh, minutes no. on the clock. Turnover by Rishti. Halpert recovers. Halpert picked up by Rishti. Hillel in their 2-3 zone. Goldberg thought about it off the bench. And that's deflected by Terran. And it's going to stay the same way. Yeah, Rosenberg came close to touching it there, but nonetheless off of Terran. One point lead for the Sting. Rosenberg will, Goldberg will inbound. He'll get it to Blechner. Jonah Blechner, the eighth grader, walking backwards, dribbles between his legs. He's going to drive bounce pass to Halpert. It's blocked by Terran. That's behind. Epstein. Dribbling through traffic, gets it to Rishti. Back to Epstein. The fans wanted a double dribble, but that ball no, was deflected. It was deflected. Exactly. And now it's stolen. Stolen by Rosenberg. Back to Halpert. Halpert hits the layup. Nice play by Caleb Rosenberg. Hello was looking to take the lead. Instead, the Stings extends it to three points with five minutes left. Zakaria to Epstein. Hillel sticking with their starting five. Tobias inside. He's going to turn around looking for something. Zakaria in the corner. He takes a three. Off the rim and rebound by the Sting. That would have been a game tie three points or the crowd would have erupted, Norman. 42 to 39. So many dangerous players on both sides as Halper takes a long wow. three and nails it. Ice in Halpert's veins. As Ron, the clutch three pointer. You sort of knew he was hitting it when it left his hand. He shot it with so much confidence. Yeah. And he left his hand up there after he shot it and nailed it. Swish from, I'd say, six feet behind the three point line. And Norm, what's going to be the key for Hillel to get this train back on track is on those offensive possessions. They cannot give the ball over without getting a shot up. They are giving way too many free possessions 
to SAR by turning the ball over. And of course, offensively, the theme stays the same. They cannot get SAR to the foul line by getting these reach-in off-ball fouls. They need to stay out of foul trouble. Okay, SAR is ready to continue. Hillel will take the ball with four minutes and 26 seconds left. They trail by six. I think SAR's biggest lead of the day was seven. It's a six point game and Hillel with only four minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Every possession right now is humongous. Every pass is big. Tobias at the elbow, dribbles across and it's good. Abraham Tobias is having the game of a lifetime. He is carrying this Hillel heat today. Just Every a, time they need a bucket, they're going to Tobias and he's cashing it in. Clutch oh. bucket for for Tobias as he gets his 15th point of the afternoon. Trails by four. That's a steal by Epstein poked it and Christy recovered it at the full court pass to Terran, but Terran is slow. one on five. Gets it back to Tobias who throws it to Rishti. Rishti to Zakaria, back to Epstein. Hello will reset. 340 left. Zakaria for three. No good. That one was short. Carry a little cold coming off the bench. There's a little rush that shot as Goldberg has it. He's dangerous. 45 41, three and a half left in the championship game for the eighth grade here, live in TABC. Halpert off the mark, rebounded by Epstein. He'll take it himself. Careful. He's taking it all the way. Missed the layup, rebound. Terran, it's good. 45 43. Wow. Hillel scored four in a row. There's three minutes left in the championship game. Just a thriller here today, Norman. We are all out for a treat. No. Oh, and Halpert lost the ball. They called the foul on Rishti, but he cannot get teed up. He better control his emotions. So is that two he shots does. now? Is that two shots? It's two shots. They're in the double penalty. The referee holds up two fingers. That means two shots, and it's Ari Halpert. Not the, guy the you want line. Up. Not the guy you want up, Norman. Their best foul shooter, their best player. And he drains the first. Hillel now trails by three. 18 points for Halpert so far in this contest. Halpert and Goldberg just raking up all the points on the SAR side. He hits both, Ron. It's 47 to 43 with two minutes and 55 seconds remaining. Epstein whispers something to Tobias. Tobias giving him a pick. Epstein passes it to Zakaria. Four point sting lead, 47 to 43. Bounce pass to Tobias. He turns around, stops his dribble. Rishti for three. It's yeah. good. What a shot by Max Rishti. 47-46 for the second time in the last minute and a half. He has turned a four-point deficit into a one-point yeah. deficit. Clutch bucket after clutch bucket so Unbe far. Unbelievable. 47-46. Two minutes, ten seconds yep. remaining yep. in yep. that. I saw that. Rishti was guarding Halpert, and Halpert just reached in on Rishti as Rishti is able to draw the offensive foul. Wow, an offensive foul. Is that a technical? What's... I think he's fouled out. That's Seth Persian fouled out. That's yeah. his fifth foul run, and he's their big boy. He's their rebounder. So he's, wow. he's, he's one of their big, big rebounders. He has at least eight or nine rebounds today. And Hillel now Epstein dribbling up the ball, and a bucket would mean the Bounce lead. pass to Terran down low. No good, rebound Tobias. Pump fake, he's fouled, and one! Sorry, Ron, no foul. Hillel takes a one point lead. It's 48. I thought, I thought Tobias was fouled, but they didn't call it as Hillel takes their first lead in what is a considerable time in just two minutes left. With the, in this fourth quarter, the Hallel sidelines and fans are all on their feet, cheering Johnny, them on. There's two minutes and one second left. Hallel trailed by six. They now lead by one. The last two minutes of this game 
has been all Hillel as Max Rishti wow. hit two three-pointers in the last two minutes, Ron. I mean, to turn four-point deficits into one, and now finally Hillel able to take the lead. Yeah, credit Rishti. He was able You're to just... The camera. Yeah. Rishti able to just respond to all of Halpert's three-pointers in this fourth quarter, Norman, as we have just two minutes left in this fourth quarter. Who will come out on top in Bergen County? Ron, you got to salute both teams. I mean, this is one well-fought game to get us to this point. 48 Hillel, 47 SAR, two minutes left. This game could go in any wow. direction. So much on the line for these young eighth graders. Lechner. Over to Goldberg, pump fake, he's gonna drive. It's blocked by Terran. Goldberg recovers, blocked again. Recovered by Rishni. Hello, Rishni's gonna drive down. He picks it up for Terran. Over to Tobias, Tobias misses the layup. Tobias had the easy layup. Loose ball, but SAR recovers. He's going one on three, and he loses it. Tobias had the layup on the other side of the court, Norman, he just missed it. That would have put them up by three, but still, Hillel has the ball. Up one with under, a minute and a half left. Under 90 seconds remaining. Hillel leads by only one point. What a game, what a game. Zakaria back to Epstein. Epstein taking his time. A minute 14 remaining. They're going to start chatting. Bounce pass to Tobias. To Zakaria for three. It's oh, good! Oh, it's God. good! What a shot by Zakaria to put up Hillel by four points. 51 to 47. Jason Zakaria nailed the three-pointer. Goldberg's going to try to answer. A jumper, no good. Rebound by SAR. 45 seconds remain. Layup, it's good. 51 to 49. Hillel leads by two. It's a full court press by the Sting. And it's a timeout by Hillel. Wow, with, wow. With 35 cool. seconds for the first time today, we saw the Sting go to a full court press. Hillel was caught napping. They were not prepared to no. inbound that ball. Good timeout by Coach Jackie Eshko. Oh, a desperate timeout by Coach Jackie Eshko. I mean, he was probably panicking that the ref couldn't see him screaming for a timeout in this raucous gymnasium. Nice layup by SAR on the second chance. Goldberg missed the jumper. And Norman, I want to go back to that three-pointer by Zakaria. Him and Epstein were playing catch for some time until finally Epstein create sorry, Zakaria created his own space by going further down the baseline, had the open three opportunity, and drained it. Ronnie, you mentioned he was a little cold coming off the bench, but that was the biggest shot of his life thus yeah. far. He's only in seventh grade, by the way, playing on the eighth grade team because the seventh grade did not have a team in Hillel this year due to the vaccination requirements. He just hit a humongous shot for these eighth graders. Hillel leads by two, and they inbound the ball with 35 seconds left under the SAR basket. It's a dangerous spot to inbound the ball. It's going to be really but That's tough. the lot they're given. They get it into Epstein, trying to trap him. And it's a reach-in foul by Halper. And that'll be one and one. No. Although the scoreboard says they're in the penalty, it looks like they're not called. Oh, Ronnie was called out of bounds. It was called out of bounds by Halper. Epstein, oh. Epstein's open. He's going to take a layup. He's fouled. And he'll go to the line for two shots. I wonder if the Zebras are thinking about an intentional foul there. It looks like he'll just go to the line for two. With 29 seconds remaining, it was a hard foul, but you don't want to call a call that's going to take the game out of the player's hands there. It was a hard foul, and we always say, if you're going to foul him, make sure he misses it. So yeah. when it happens to us, we gotta we got to understand it. So some really high-intensity moments for Epstein here. He'll miss the first one. And he missed it badly, Ron. That one wasn't close. And this next one is really important. His whole team just patted him on the back saying, just hit this one. What a pass by Rishti to Epstein on the inbound. Going coast to coast, Epstein takes the second one. No. It's off the it. mark, rebound by SAR in a two-point game, Ron. He missed both. 25 seconds remaining, timeout by wow. Coach Ken Gleason. 
So Epstein, who went six for six at the line, sorry, Epstein, who is now only two for six at the line today, continues his bad streak there as Hillel unable to get away with any points on that possession. So now SAR has some flexibility in their play calling, Norman. You don't need to get around the perimeter and take that three-pointer. It's interesting. I mean, Goldberg has been having a great game from three-point land. Halper can drive on anybody. Do they go for the tie? Do they go for the win? Wow. It's an interesting call. I'm sure they'll try to get it into Halper, see if he could create something inside. Halper is very good at controlling the ball. He could take it himself. He could dish it off to Blechner, or he could kick it out to Goldberg for a three-pointer. So many options now for Reisman and his boys in the black and yellow. Goldberg is in the game, as is Milstein. Tall guys that are going to... But again, Norman, I want to go back to Persian being fouled out. He is their main rebounder. You're right. They have, they have Brady Berger in the game now. Ari Halpert will inbound the ball. I assume he'll inbound it to Blackner, who's on the far side, who will come jetting across, I assume. No, they're gonna try to get it into Goldberg. It's a bounce pass. It's contested by Epstein. Goldberg has it. And it's a... Timeout. Oh, it's a it's an inadvertent whistle? What is it? Oh. He, one of the referees called a timeout. That's a technical foul. They don't have any timeouts left. One Let's of the, see what the call Goldberg is. called a timeout with no timeouts remaining. That'll be a technical foul against SAR if the call stands. Okay, that's what's happening with Coach Ken Gleason. Goldberg did call for the timeout. So that's going to be a technical. They have no more timeouts remaining, Norman. Let's see if that's the call, Ron. It's very hard to tell. It looks like they do have a timeout. They're huddling, so I guess they do have a timeout, and they are granted that uh -huh. timeout. So there was some confusion on the amount of timeouts left. Goldberg was the one who called that timeout, not his coach. Not Coach Ken Gleason, no. Um, Ken Gleason was surprised. Now, Hillel's got to play good defense on this inbound. I, I don't. I assume they have no more timeouts now. Yeah. So you want to contest this inbound pass, there are only 15.9 seconds left. Unbelievable. In the championship game, 51 to 49, Hillel leads by two. SAR will inbound the ball. They had Halpert inbounding it for them last time, number zero. This time it looks like it's going to be Milstein inbounding it. And SAR has a set play. You have to watch Goldberg cutting towards the basket here. You got to imagine this ball is going to Goldberg or Halpert. You have to watch Blechner also. Blechner's yeah. lining up third there. He could be dangerous. And it goes to Goldberg. There are 14 seconds left. Oh, Tobias trying to steal the ball. 10 seconds left. Hillel leads by two. No. And it's a foul on Max Rishti. Seven seconds left. They call a foul on Rishti. Halpert will now go to the line for, for two, two shots. shots. Down two. Seven seconds left. This crowd will be at its maximum decibel value. What volume. pressure for an eighth grader. I mean, he wow. hits the first, Ronnie. He has been nothing but money from that free throw line, Norman. Remarkable player, regardless of what happens in this game. What a performance by Ari Halper And today. here's the whole game. Can he extend it and tie this game? He it's off. It. Oh, rebounded by Epstein. He's going to dribble out. And it's a foul on wow. Milstein. Halpert missed the free throw, and Epstein with the clutch rebound. But remember, Epstein will go to the line. He missed two yeah. when he was at the line. He's only two for six today. Hillel only trails by one. Hillel leads by one only. Epstein is at the line. He missed his last two foul shots. He's only two for six. Epstein can put SAR in a really tough spot if he hits both of these, Norman. Ronnie, it's a one and one only. He's got to hit the first one for Hillel. It's a one and one. This rebound will be contested. Watch Tobias trying to crash it. It's off. Tip by Tobias. Rebound yeah. by Epstein. That's it. 3.8 seconds left. Oh, I didn't hear a whistle. Epstein will. Well, you're not going to hear a whistle <laughs> in this crowd, Ron, but we saw the foul. Epstein will go back to the line for a one and one. He is now two for seven so from the line. So we shaved off two seconds. Epstein back where he was. That At that win. line. Correct. 3.8 left. The pressure is mounting on him, and that one's good. Okay. So if he hits this, 
SAR will be forced for a Hail Mary type of shot, only to tie the game in their best hopes. Tobias and Terran have to crash the boards here, at least tip the ball up. There's only 3-8 left. Epstein hits it. Hillel leads by three. Ice in his veins. Finally, Epstein hits both free throws when sent to that line as they go up three in the final 3.8 seconds of this championship game. Ronnie, this is an eighth grader that was two for seven from the foul line that just hit two foul shots. It's just unbelievable, the pressure. Yeah, the boys. With, with, with the whole school and the whole community of both teams watching to be two for seven and then hit both foul shots is amazing. The this boys. game's not over. We saw this team from SAR hit three-pointer after three-pointer. I assume Halpert will take the shot, but you gotta watch Goldberg and Blechner. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Halpert's the one who got him here in this second half. But Goldberg just as capable as him to take that shot and tie this game. Hillel has been terrible with foolish fouls. I wonder if they foul you on purpose foul. over here. Foul. I wonder if they foul on purpose to put them on the line over I here. Wouldn't. I wouldn't. Or I would if they give them a look at a three-pointer. Blechner will inbound. It's going to be to Goldberg. He's going to be the one taking the shot. It's a half-court heave. It's no oh. good. Halal will win the championship. The Halal Heat have won the eighth grade championship as the fans storm the court. Halal wins the game by a final score of 53 to 52. They were down by six points wow. with four minutes to go in this game, Ronnie. A, a back and forth contest, an unbelievable ball game by both teams. And Halal for the first time all year was tested. For the first time all year, they trailed at the half. They were trailing by six points with four minutes left. Max Richty big shots. Bruce Epstein recovering from missing some foul shots to hitting some foul shots. Jason Zakaria gave them the lead with that three-pointer in the corner. And Abraham Tobias, the game of his life. The, game, the, the player of this game is Abraham Tobias. The game of his life. Heron, Shehebar coming in off the bench. I mean, yeah, you talk about Epstein and Tobias, their efforts, but Norman, the turning point for me was a carrier's three-pointer in that corner to cut the lead to one. That was just some absolute poise by Zakaria, and then Tobias and Epstein able to take it from there. Some clutch free throws from Epstein to go up three points as Hillel wins their first championship